Hey guys, what's going on? It's your man, Mr. Z. I'm doing my second library trip here. I'm going to go return, uh, die another day, and see what else I can go uh, pick up at the library. Uh, quick thoughts on die another day. Um, a lot of people that are James Bond fans tend to shit all over this movie. They, they despise it. They think this is the worst James Bond movie ever made. And, you know, coming from someone who's a major Bond noob, I've only seen the Craig Bonds, and I'm starting to venture out into the uh, other James Bonds, I can tell you that I gave this a 4.5 out of 10, okay? This movie is by no means great. In fact, it's probably not even that good. But the action sequences, especially in the first, like, three-fourths of this movie, are fantastically glorious, over-the-top, early 2000s. It's... An, it's everything I could have asked for, for an early 2000s Bond film, which this is the only early 2000s Bond film, actually. But um, I really love the action sequences, especially on the, um, the hovercraft uh, chase. Fantastic. Amazing. Um, this movie is unbelievably over the top. Um, it gets extremely goofy and wanky at the end, and it pretty much falls apart. Um, Halle Berry starts off fine in my opinion and then uh, she ends up um, becoming really annoying at the end like a cartoon sidekick. But um, overall 4.5 out of 10, um, great action sequences, but that's really about it. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the library and um, I'm going to get to driving. random thing. It's really hard to find the Pirates of the Caribbean Blu-rays for a good price, you know, like on eBay or something, because I am trying to find the first and second ones. I do have the third one. The fourth one is not even worth talking about. I think I'm going to keep it James Bond. I think I'm going to just go ahead and rent Tomorrow Never Dies. Might as well to continue my Bond. Okay guys, I uh, went ahead and picked up uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get through all my James Bonds. It's weird, I'm working my way in reverse. I'm starting with Craig, then I'm going to Brosnan, and then I'm working my way from there, which is weird, but hey, I'm up for it. I'm always up for a good uh, 90s James Bond movie, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. Um, didn't expect to do this, but I'm about to go to Redbox right now. I'm going to see if they have... Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, hold on one minute. Hold your horses. I want to see Fifty Shades of Grey just to see what the fuck the hype is all about. Like, honestly, like that, I believe that was the highest viewed uh, movie trailer of 2014. And uh, that movie grossed hella much money. So, um, I just want to see what it's all about. And, you know, I in my high school uh, junior paper, my junior year paper, I had to write about the MPAA. I chose to write about the MPAA. So I want to see how far they can get with the R rating before pushing that NC-17 barrier because I believe there is an unrated version of Fifty Shades of Grey which might be the NC-17 rated version. So uh, I just want to see what the fuck that they do. Alright guys, I'll see you at Redbox. Alright, looks like they didn't have it. Looks like I'm going to be watching Tomorrow Never Dies tonight. Um, I'll just check back later. It's a new release movie, so I'm not surprised that they don't have it. So, anyways, guys, I think this concludes my uh, library random red box trip. Um, if you want to see me do any movie reviews, any Blu ray reviews, any trips, leave those in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll definitely talk to you guys later.